Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new, this is Homeschool at Heart and I am Leah Simpson. Um, and today I'm going to show you guys what is in my kids' Christmas stockings. Okay, so I go a little bit crazy for stockings. If you guys wanna see what I got my kids for their Christmas gifts, um, you can watch the video, um, I'll link it here um, and in the description box. But today we're gonna be talking about stockings and I do go a little crazy with this. Um, I try really hard to give myself some parameters for the actual gifts, but this is like, I can't, I can't stop somehow from buying a lot of things for stockings. So I'm gonna show you guys what they all are getting and hopefully gives you some ideas for your kids. I will um, link anything that I can in the description box. Um, most of them are gonna be Amazon links and um, I think it's worth mentioning that it's a free way to support my family for you to click through those links. Um, it will take you directly to your own Amazon account, um, but it will tell Amazon that I sent you and I will get a small commission from anything that you buy through clicking my um, affiliation links. So now all that is over and done with and I don't have to talk about it again. <laughs> um, here is, I have a giant box of stocking stuffers that I'm going to um show you guys some of the things are the same um some of them are not but um i'll just kind of try to go through kid by kid and um hopefully it all makes sense okay so um first thing that's on the very top is this um watercolor travel set um, this one is partially opened because I wanted to check it out. Um, I have one that's similar to this that's a little bit bigger of a set. Um, I'll see if I can show these to you without them all falling out. Um, it's got all the little rainbowy colors here. I think, I'm not sure, one of these I'm hoping is purple. Um, and then it has like a little brush pen that you can put water in and a sponge and a little tray that you can also put water in. Um, there are a lot of varieties of these. Like I said, the one that I own um, and that we've been sharing has like a few more colors to it. So it'll be coming with us if the kids need that. Um, there also is room for a regular paintbrush in here. Um, you can get larger sets that also have like little mixing trays and things like that. So I love these. Um, and my kids will be really excited to get that in their stockings. Um, another thing that is, oh my goodness, I can't get it. Um, I got, <laughs> somehow the pa packaging came opened, so um, I got these little stamps for them. They are footprints, animal footprint stamps. My kids love this. Um, we are planning to go to many national parks this year. Um, and I will probably just separate those into the bottom of their stockings. Um, and they can play uh, with those with these ink pads that I also got. There's six of them, so I'll put two in each stocking. Um, there's lots and lots of colors. Here's the color variety. Um, or they can use them in Play-Doh, which they will love doing. Um, I also got them Big Kid Scissors. So these are like not quite adult scissors. They're like holes for like the tween size, but all of my kids love using the big people scissors instead of little people scissors now. So um, they'll each have their own pair. So Ellie's is this bluish greenish color teal turquoise, turquoise probably. Um, Charlotte's is pink and Beth is purple. I was excited because these had their favorite colors. Um, I have some little notebooks for them. Just little lined notebooks. I believe those are from Hobby Lobby. Um, let's see, sorry about the bag noise. Um, this one is Charlotte's. No, I lied, it's Beth's. 
Beth and Ellie both got this pink color. Charlotte got this more neutrally color. I mean, like none of them are like really crazy colored, but this one's a little bit more neutral. Um, okay, for Beth's stocking, um, she's really into sewing right now. Actually, all three of my kids are really into sewing. We started doing that for morning time. Um, if you don't typically watch my channel, I'm a homeschool parent of three. Um, and when we do our read alouds and stuff like that, the kids like to sew. So, um, I thought we would try our hand at cross stitch. So I got some little cross stitch kits. Um, also for Beth's stocking, let's see if I can get it open. I should have opened all this. I have opened this once, but, um, she is very into, um, let's see if I can show it to you guys. Percy Jackson. Um, I got her this Percy Jackson charm bracelet. There were not really a lot of Percy Jackson things um, for whatever reason, but she's really into Percy Jackson. So I got her that to put in her stocking. I got her some little um, play sand, it's like kinetic sand. It's the Crayola version of that. Hers is purple. Um, she loves Hatchimals, so I got her a little Hatchimal. Um, my kids really love all the surprise toys, and I'm not entirely sure why, but they do. So they all ended up with those. I did get everyone the same one, and then the other one, they're all different. But this one's Magic Mixies Mixlings. <laughs> I don't know. I just saw it and I thought it looked fun. So, um, collector's cauldron. So basically they get to use like a little, it looked like a magic wand, surprise mixling and wand inside. So you're supposed to push the gem, rub the gem to find out what kind of mixling you will create. I don't know. We'll see. But they looked like the kind of thing, this is from Target. Um, actually, both the surprise toys and that kinetic sand are from Target. Um, sorry, I showed you the back of it. The Hatchimal. <laughs> Beth likes Hatchimals. The other kids have different ones. But um, they all got this because I thought they'd fight. That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> okay, another Play-Doh thing. This is a dough roller. So this one has like a fancy design on it and then they each have a stamp on the ends. This one has a peace sign and a flower. They each have one of those but they're all different so they'll hopefully share those. And then um, my grandma used to buy these for my kids. These candy canes full of, of candy. Um, sorry for the motorcycle going by. Um, but when she passed away my kids started missing that kind of stuff. It's just kind of a nostalgia thing I think. Okay, last thing for Beth's stocking um, is this Foldology. She's, she really likes um, origami, and this is fold each sheet into a four by four square. It's anyway, it's, um, it's just really cool little um, puzzles that are <laughs> origami. So I thought she would enjoy that. All right, so let's move on to Ellie. So Ellie is getting um, a canoodle game. So Beth got the foldology thing. Um, Ellie's getting this canoodle game. Um, my little or two like games, but my bigger one does not love games, so that's why she didn't get a game. Um, so we've got this um, little cauldron guy for Ellie. She got a Kit Kat. Um, version of this thing, um, this thing, this candy cane. <laughs> Sorry guys, I'm like going quick right now because I'm like showing you guys some of the same things. This came, these came from Joann's, uh, Joann Fabrics, these little um, cross stitch kits. Ellie is really into horses, so I thought she could either leave it as a unicorn or um, she could leave the horn off and have it be a horse. Okay, um, and then she's getting a Disney mini brands 
um, surprise toy. There's like five little tiny toys inside of here. When you open it up, it's like segmented like an orange. Um, and then supposedly they have Disney miniature things in there. Anyway, um, we have a dollhouse and I think that that will be fun for the dollhouse. And then her little um, dough roller is this. Um, it has like a little raindrop and a triangle on the sides, but it's like a honeycomb. And then last couple things for hers are blue kinetic sand. Oh, apparently they smell. It smells like blueberries. What does the other one smell like? Grape? I'm guessing. Yeah, the purple smells like grape. That's cool. These were in the dollar section, the kinetic sands. Um, and then the last thing, um, like I said, she loves horses. So I got her a bracelet that says love horses on it. Okay. So everybody got this little, um, oh my goodness, my Marco Polo is going off. Everybody got a watercolor set. So Charlotte's little um, cross stitch is a dragon because she's super into dragons. She, this, I don't think this is gonna fit. I thought this would fit because I made these stockings. I'm gonna talk about them at the end of the video, but um, I thought this would fit in there, but I don't think it will. It's a canoodle game. It's duplexity. So choose a challenge card and then find and place magnetic pieces that match. Sounds easy, but remember both ends of the puzzle must fit. Both ends of the piece must fit in the puzzle. So, um, it's kind of Tetrisy, but I thought it'd be cool for, um, like on the go and stuff. Okay. So her surprise things are the little cauldron guy and then Disney durables. She has a, like a little adorable holder. Anyway, we love these. They're so cute. And there's two of them, I think, inside of each one of these. This came from Target as well. I'm sure you can find them on Amazon, but I did find it at Target. Um, she has a bracelet. I don't have my glasses on because the last time I used my ring light, it had such a bad glare, but she has a bracelet. It has a dragon charm in the middle. And her favorite color is pink, so I chose the pink band. And then her little dough roller has either, you could say they're mermaid scales, or you could say they're dragon scales, which is probably what they will be in this house. And it has a heart and a star. She loves Reese's Pieces right now, so she got a candy cane with Reese's Pieces in it. And the very last thing is pink pink kinetic sand and it smells like strawberries all right you guys that is everything from my kids stockings I did check to see if it fits and everything fits in there except for that real big canoodle game so I'll just put it under her stocking when I fill them up and we'll be good to go I think everybody's gonna have a wonderful time opening those and I'm really gonna enjoy watching them do that so um, I'm really excited. It is still, as when I'm filming this, it's November 29th. So I still have to wait 26 days for them to get to open all of this. And so I'm kind of <laughs> sad about that because it's a long time, but, uh, it's going to be so fun. Anyway, um, I just wanted to say thank you for watching and I will see you in my next video. Um, okay, so thank you for watching all the way to the end of the video. This is the point where if you are new, um, I share things that are more personal or something funny. So today I thought I would tell you guys about, um, oh gosh, my whole, the whole area around me is full of things. Um, I thought I would tell you guys about our Christmas stockings. So when, um, my husband and I got married, um, my wedding gift from him was that he made us matching pajama pants and they happened to be out of Christmas fabric. So we saved them for Christmas and um it was just like a super sweet 
thing that he did and I loved it so much. I have been sewing since I was seven years old. And so he had to learn how to do that. My sister-in-law taught him, it was a whole thing. And so um, every year since then, I have made Christmas pajamas. So we typically have tons of um, little pieces of fabric left over. And so I made these Christmas stockings out of the scraps. This is called a crazy quilt pattern. Um, and actually a friend of mine used to make and sell these and she taught me how to do it. And I thought it was super duper sweet. One of the pieces, let's see if I can find it. This piece right here, she actually cut the pattern piece for this one piece right here. <laughs> um, Anyway, so represented in these stockings are scraps of Christmas pajamas or other Christmas items that I have made through the years. Like this was a skirt, um, pajamas, pajamas, pajamas. <laughs> Almost all of these are pajamas. But, um, and then the backing is just um, one of the bigger pieces left over. And then these little um, letters, came, they're pins that came from Kohl's. So that's Beth's, here's Charlotte's. I have a whole bin of this fabric, so um, I, <laughs> I don't need to make any more of these stockings. Oh my goodness. Oh, it was one of the wooden things, okay. Um, and Ellie's, so she has the, um, super cute though. This year we do a craft fair every year. Um, I'm usually in charge of it. And um, I guess that's not true. I have been in charge of it every year that we have done it. It's a fundraiser for a local community theater. It's the theater that Tim and I met at. Um, and Charlotte used some of the leftover Christmas fabric to make some little ornaments. Anyway, so that is the story behind my crazy quilt stockings. I did make them. They are made out of um, fabric from past Christmas pajamas. Um, and I also, uh, cause I, you know, y'all know I'm extra. So, um, we have frames up all over right now with, I'm looking at them right now, um, with pictures in them of our family as time has gone on wearing all of the Christmas pajamas that I've made. So, um, it's just one of the things that is like super, a super sweet Christmassy memory for me and um I can't wait to make this year so I have the fabric sitting right here waiting for me it's all washed and ready to go so anyway I hope you guys are having a really great holiday season and um I will see you next week for a video about um I think it's going to be a day in the life of our family doing uh Christmas school so I will see you guys soon and I um, pray that you are having a blessed holiday season.